Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's both an uh, honor and pleasure for us to be sharing our little story with you today. So thank you for, for this opportunity. I'm Jola Cesevich, I work for Research Information Services at Thomas University of Technology, which is in Polnach, Lithuania. And Gimbara Tukkaučiana, can you please look at her? She will wave at you. <laughs> uh, she is the library director. And, and she's also associate professor at, at the Department of Education at Kona's University of <coughs> Technology too. So like I said, it's, uh, we have a little story with us. It's, it's a story told. It's not a fancy, fancy success. Uh, nothing innovative at this point, uh, but we are happy we, we can uh, we can be happy with our little uh, little first uh, steps uh, uh, that we think are successful. So, uh, the 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 story of success that uh, uh, we we uh, uh, like to refer to it uh, li like this. Uh, basically, it's about uh, moving from standalone activities uh, that that we. Uh, used to have for for to support, to support open science so you know, to integrate it and and build built in, in activities so that's that's my talk will be about Kolnas University of Technology is is not a big one uh, it's it's a uh, University of Technology uh, which also works in the fields of uh, social sciences, arts, and humanities. Uh, we have operated under under this name for quite quite some time, but we don't know about the future because at the moment we have uh, uh, we, we we have a big uh, merger merger project for for Lithuanian institutions. So we will see. Uh, but anyway, we have our our own the occupation set at the library. But I told you the university is, is not a big one with, with 10,000 students. It's a big one in Lithuanian terms. It's the second biggest in the country. And the pictures are real. They come from real activities. Uh, we, have, we have a library, and uh, it's a simple one. If you compare to fancy ones in, in the region <laughs> in terms of infrastructure. Um, but uh, what is important about our library one of the things that, that are, are, is important is that uh, we, we have promoted uh, open science uh, basically in, in the framework of uh, uh, open air project for quite a quite long, long time and have functioned as a national open access desk for, for Lithuania. So we believe uh, this makes our library special. Now let's look at the national context in terms of what's, what's around us. In terms of policy, um, the need for openness has, has been in, in the law on, on science and studies since 2009. Uh, we had quite many de developments uh, a year ago in, in, in 2016, uh, guidelines on open access scientific pub publications and, and data were adopted by Research Council of, of Lithuania, which is one of the major funders. And our institution, institutional document followed this, this policy. Now, if you, we look at the, the national landscape of the infrastructure, it looks like this. <coughs> uh, we have small, small numbers, so so they, they reflect uh, the whole picture. Out of 50 institutions that, that were on the, on the survey, we had 21 responses, and, and uh, they look like, like this. Now, going, going back to, to our, our own institution, like I, like I mentioned, we had uh, numbers, numbers of, of uh, standalone activities for years and years and years. And some of them were, were kind of kind of uh, organized, like a series of, of seminars uh, supported by, by Foster. So 
So if we think of, of the data management uh, part, part of the talks were on, on data management too. You can recognize some familiar faces. <laughs> sure. um. Now, uh, this year, uh, we were lucky to be supported by IFO, Electronic Information for Libraries, uh, who offered su support for, for uh, early career researchers uh, uh, at our institution and, and in the country. And uh, we managed to integrate uh, a topic on, on research data management uh, into our annual PhD, PhD summer school. It happened, it was very successful. We had two brilliant speakers, Sarah Jones from DCC and Irina Kuchma from, mm -hmm. from IFO. The feedback is just brilliant. As a follow-up, not really a follow-up, that's, that's a different action. We are working on a PhD module uh, and we, we've got uh, every formal approval for, for it that, that, is, that is needed. So now that uh, the best part that is left for, for us is, is hard work. The, the module is uh, really big, it's six, six ECTS, but that's the, the format that, that we have. So we have uh, seven topics. Uh, the module will be off offered as an elective to uh, students of 18 PhD programs but in, in different, different fields. So the, the task is really challenging, developing a, a good, a good uh, team of, of, of teachers and good, good materials, but we hope we can manage it. And if we look at, at our like, short well, it's not a short, short way that we've made. Uh, if we think about some lessons, uh, we think it's important, important to be kind of flexible, uh, waiting for the right mo moment, as, as we say, but also be, be proactive. If we think of the guidelines, our institutional document, uh, we, we it's, it's difficult to imagine we could uh, have it adopted like five years ago or 10 years ago. I'm looking at Gintari, I'm not sure, sure she, she would agree, but that's my impression. And then when, when we had the, the, the document on, on the national level, by, uh, by the, the document by the research council, it was that nice and easy. <laughs> Seeking support from stakeholders, communication is, is vital, that's no news, and developing staff competence. We, uh, we have to think about it every, every minute. Thank you. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, anything, anything Thank you for your talk. It's very interesting, actually, from kind of my perspective and thinking about making Moodle courses as well. Do you okay. have any uh, any questions? Suggestions. Oh, suggestions. Who wants to join our team? <laughs> 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 Work on some tasks. <laughs> I won't join your team, but I have a question. Um, so how hard was it to, to I mean, I, I really, it's really impressive to, to get it in the PhD program. How hard was that? Or did it come out from the, the, the successful summer school and, and and then you had some driver, or, or did you have to work hard to, to, to get yeah. that through? Did we get better? No, uh, I, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't hard. It's, it's about seeking support from stakeholders. Uh, uh, so so it's, uh, uh, it's also ab about stakeholders uh, that we have for in, in, in our research department. The, the Department of, of Research and, and Innovation, they, they have always been supportive of our, of our initiatives. So uh, no, that that wasn't very difficult. That's that's my impression. But the entire you may tell different. <laughs> okay, I'm Linda of the PhD program committee, so I'm involved in this process. So that's not difficult to persuade uh, our, my colleagues to do this. It's more than
Do you deliver the teaching yourselves then, or do you do a kind of train the trainer and have uh, faculty do we it? Yeah, we are going to do some topics ourselves, and then, then um, we're developing a team for, for, for different, different topics. A team of library staff or a team no, of? No, it's not library staff, no. no Actually, we involve also IT staff and people from uh, And yes, also, I'm not a librarian myself. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we work for, for the library. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you.